It's actually halfway through the night, so this can be done quite easily. Uh, creepers over there, spiders over there. No skeletons and no zombies. At least not yet. Give them time, they'll spawn. But I've got plans. And boy do I have plans. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to start luring these guys over here. I'm not worried about creepers exploding so much. So they almost did. You're not going to blow up. Told you. Because he died first. There's creepers over here now, though. Hi, creepers. Okay, you're not coming over here? Fine. I'll go stay over here. And there's the skeletons. Uh, I managed to get some creepers nearby. I might be able to do it over here. Kind of a high risk scenario, though. But this is basically how I get my music discs, is two shots on the creeper. Now allow the skeleton to be able to one hit him, should the skeleton want to. Okay. First I need to line them up. It should require me to... Got it. Though it's already one I have. I think. Pretty sure I already have that one. No big deal, but... And that totally blew up. Against my will. Thought I created him, which should have made him dying free hits, but apparently not. You guys totally just spawned there, didn't you? Well, the night's almost over. And there you go. I bring death and doom to everyone. And it's amazing. This is basically how I grind. Sit through here, there's a ton of spiders here. Three hits from the iron sword, they're the weakest of the mobs. I could easily use my mob grinder too, but the spawn rates outside tend to be a little bit better. If you don't mind getting a little bit dirty. Which I don't. Now I'm going to die in one more hit. And running time. Because my armor is deteriorating. Is he seriously still following me? Didn't think so. And now he's dead. Now to get some last minute experience. I apparently can't pick up any of this zombie flesh, which isn't really a bad thing. Get some last minute hits off. Probably not going to be able to get this guy before he dies. Unless he runs to the water. Aw, oh, so close. So close. You, however. Crit. Give me your experience. Well, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to fill in. I'm kind of glad I have all that sand now because I can just easily fill in everything. Creeper damage and stuff from my failures. Hmm. Uh, it's always nice to fill stuff in. And there's our nether portal. Which we'll hopefully never have to use. But you never know. Oh boy. So back in here. Got some glowstone, not a lot. Enough to make, I think, like nine blocks. Oh, what did I say? Nine. <laughs> so what we could do with this is really quickly just go in like so. 
close this off just in case. Never know when creepers are around. Just drop into my mine here. Grab some of this redstone that's been sitting around for far too long. Which means I need to put something else away, but uh, we'll figure this out. So let me uh, ship click these in. That string bones. No zombie flesh because I couldn't pick any up. But uh, there. Yes, I have a bow of power one as well. Probably should have brought that into the nether now that I think about it. Huh. Oh well, it's too late to decide that now. Let me just throw in my Mega McCream though. Put away all of these blaze rods since I won't need them all. I'll throw my flint and steel in here since I have some TNT here. Don't have that many nether bricks, but I can always get more. Actually, got a bow off a skeleton. It's the third stole disc I have, by the way, so. Nothing special there. I almost place called this one for no reason. So anyways, now we've cleared up some inventory. I think I grabbed some redstone. I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. So what we're basically going to do here is just uh, very quickly make some redstone lamps. Finally use some of that redstone. And redstone lamps, what's special about them is they can basically be wired up like most normal redstone in a way that allows you to basically make some pretty nifty indoor lighting. So, now we have some redstone lamps, we can go set those up somehow. First things first, so let's just take care of our chickens. And throw this cobblestone in there. So in order to take care of these guys, let me just glitch up this fence again. A little trick I've learned from... Actually, I learned that from a sheep in one of the Captain Sparkles' video is he's trying to figure out why the sheep managed to glitch into his, uh, or climb its way into his fence when it shouldn't have been able to. It's because, see this vine here? When it's sideways like this, you can literally just, like, climb out like that. Which none of my chickens have tried yet, but that's probably for the best. I'll just throw some eggs, you know, standard stuff. Hatch a few chickens. I've gotten so many four-in-one eggs now that it's like because I grounded for a long time, and as a result, I got a shit ton of chickens going. Since chickens basically will be the main thing I kill, because it gives me feathers, such as that, and that, and that, and that. Feathers are always good, so never hurts to kill for a few. I have some feathers there to die for. I, was gonna have to, I always thought I was going to have to kill another chicken to get out of there. Hey look, there's some more eggs. Maybe I'll get a foreign one and that'll replace all the ones I just killed. Nope. Oh well. No big deal. What we can do, however, is grab our ender pearls. Grab our blaze powder. Make some eyes of ender. Let's be careful right-clicking with these. And they're are quite strong, actually, so. Okay, so we know now that the dungeon is, in fact, in the direction of my chicken pen. Which, as usual, I left my map in a stupid, retired place. Which can be easily solved by me going here and taking my map. Got some random chickens. Some more feathers, actually. I'm actually running out of flint. I should probably be more careful with that. Oh well. It's easy enough to get more. All I need to do is literally just sit there for an hour using the same shovel on gravel. Over and over again. I have enough cobblestone to do that forever. Until I turn all my gravel into flint. That's why I saved my gravel. I'll harvest that later. So anyways. I suggest that the stronghold is over there somewhere. Which means... I'm probably going to do this tomorrow actually because it's rain short on day. 
The stronghold is probably in that direction. Oh, we'll find it, trust me. If we actually find it this session, I'll be very, very happy with myself. Matter of fact, I will be ecstatic. Cat, bar. There's your stall. Like the third one I have. I told you I had a shit ton of them. Oh boy. I'm missing one wall for... No, let's go find that random sheep that escaped and just shear him. Because I might just make a traveling bed. Which is probably the smartest thing I can do. And now there's a pig in the tree over there. Yes, I bred a few sheep, but I didn't really do much with these pens. I don't need a shit ton of pork or anything because I have so many chickens. Actually, I can use a little bit of wool, so I'll just... Yeah, there. Enough wool to make a bed. So basically now I could easily just travel. As long as I'm in sight of land. But it's so close to night now that I'm probably not going to be able to do much. So I'm just going to go and make a boat real quick. Because my other boat I left at the other end of the map. Like a noob. I'll throw the map there for now. What do I not need on me? Redstone lamps, this redstone and nether racks. Uh, throw two wool in here. It's cobbles. I'll leave the cobbles. Soul sand can go away. It's always good to keep some extra iron because I'm probably going to run out of something. Whether it be a pickaxe or whatever. Sword actually too is probably going to run out soon. Take those eyes under out of my inventory. Don't want to accidentally use those. No, I'll leave this. Nah, actually, I'll just bring the bed with me. Wherever I go. To be completely honest, I might as well just leave the coal on me. I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. I'm almost wondering if I should bring something for protection. In case I do find it, actually, I should go make a better suit of armor, like right now. Which can easily be done. Because I did find some more diamonds. Not a ton of diamonds, but enough. To upgrade my armor. Oh, there goes my diamonds. And the helmet's probably the last thing I need. Which I can't even make, so... Boots we go. So now I've got my pimped out diamonds, and... I'll just make a quick helmet here. So my armor is probably almost broken, if not already broken, which it is. And actually, I think I'll enchant this before I leave too, so let's quickly go up here. Pull this lever. Should we have to enchant or should we just head the bed? That's going to be a while before the moon rises. By a while, I mean like 30 seconds. 30 seconds I can spend at my enchanter that I built up here. So it's very quickly just give this thing a very low enchantment. Seven's a little high. So is eleven. Don't want to waste all my experience. Can we get a low one? It seems to give me give me like seven as fine, I'll take seven. Fire protection and aqua affinity, that's actually pretty good. This diamond chest plate though will give it something pretty damn buff. Let's see if I can get a 16. Yes, I can. Which one's better? Protection 2. Good enough. Fire protection and aqua affinity 1. That'll be my main defense. From fire and drowning. So it's like a double whammy. And look, it's night. And there goes like all 22 levels of experience I had. Oh boy. I can sit here and grind for experience to get that stuff enchanted better, but who really cares? Seriously, who really cares? Let's throw that on, throw that on, and throw these on. And I'll just throw my old brokenish armor in there. Done. 
just so I don't have to make a crafting table. I'll just carry a bed on me at all times. Because you never know. I'm probably going to need more arrows too. Before I even fight the Ender Dragon, but... So, what I'm going to do here is just go for my chicken farm one last time. See if I can get any more arrows. You know, before preparing on my journey. I'm going to do potions.